Simone knows what she wants. You do realize that I really want to pull your bottom lip right up over your face right now. Roger doesn't know how to get it. That or the wedding bow. And their families are two sides of a foreign coin. Mom, your boobs are showing. Will Jane be able to flip this wedding around? Nice. I'm very confused. Or will she crawl under the covers until it all goes away? I am shaking. You know what? For a night out, that, that, that'd be fine. Mom, your boobs are showing. I like it. I know, but mother of the groom. The groom, but this is the way I always like to dress. Mom, there's too much cleavage there. Bride-to-be Simone is marrying into a very spicy family. Ooh. Roger and I have very different backgrounds. Uh, no, you no. always says to me, I know, I'm always worried. Do you see what I'm worried now? His background is Spanish. My family's more rowdy, I would say. And Simone's family is not. Aww, very this has done a nice job. Tomato, tamale, however you want to put it, this upcoming wedding isn't looking very pretty. Hopefully. The wedding planning is very hard right now. I have the baby. I get on the phone to call somebody and she starts to cry. Fine, so tell me what to do. I'm on your computer. What's the password for the other computer? So Simone has entrusted Roger with a lot of the planning, and so far it ain't so caliente. Is it that bad? I haven't been able to follow through very well. Roger, focus for me for a second. I'm not bossy, I just have better ideas. Then I always come off, come off as the because I gotta clean everything up. I'm at work, she'll page me calling my cell phone, making sure that I remember when I come home that I have certain things to do. You are very much a control freak. Everything has to be time this, time this. Has to be this way for Simone, that way for Simone. Everything has to be on time and the way you want it. It's his nature to be very passive, um, especially when he has to deal with a conflictual situation. If it's voicemail, call back. I would say she's a type A personality. Uh, you think? Okay. I know, no, it's not funny because then when you get nervous, you got something to refer to. All right, all right. Okay. Just... Definitely beyond desperate right now. In terms of the wedding plans, we haven't really done anything. You do realize that I really want to pull your bottom lip right up over your face right now. Okay. But gracias a Dios, because Jane Deus Hinch, the global wedding translator, has arrived. Jane and her wingman Michael have flown in with three wedding wishes to make sense of Simone and Roger's fiasco of a fiesta. Hey, nice Hello. to meet you. Jane. Nice to meet you too. Oh, Cute baby. But in my experience, they don't help in the planning of a wedding. They're too busy pooping and sleeping. <laughs> the sad thing is, my memory has really changed. They do. When you have a baby, you lose a quantity of brain cells. Oh, well, yeah. It's true. It's true. But Simone digs deep in her grey matter to fill Jane in on all the details that her postnatal noggin can recall. And it all ends in tears. I think baby's had enough, and I think it would be a good idea to let's go and see inside. And just to let you know also, mm -hmm. okay. we have four sets of parents. My parents were married. They were divorced. Now they're married. Now they're married. Now they're married. And they can't sit at the same table. No, so. no. Please don't ask me to do a table plan. Please don't ask me to do the table plan. Any family engagement that we've had, because I had a baby shower and a wedding shower, we yeah. have the Spanish people and we have white why? people. I don't know why. We can't get them to... It's a whole division. Has anybody heard of West Side Story? And now that the gang have gotten to know each other, Roger and Simone bring out their toys. What do we do with this? One of... Roger's family members was so kind to give this to us. It's a Mexican tradition. It's a circular piece of rope which has no beginning and no end, the same as your wedding ring. In different ceremonies, it's used in different ways, and sometimes it can just be the binding of hands. Oh. Ah, it has been a long day. But Jane knows a mess when she sees it, so she jets off and lays out a plan of action for Tony and Maria. I mean, Simone and Roger. 
Would you like me to start at the top and work my way down? Reality's kicked in. Yeah. Anything that's underlined in red um, is now. So a lot of things that are on there, there's a lot of red. Have you got a makeup trial and hair trial booked? I have a hair trial. I don't know what color. What color to have your hair? Are you thinking of changing your hair color? I have to. You'll be wondering who you're marrying. Brides who want to change their whole look for a wedding? Not a good idea. The cake, MC, photographs. Who's going to book the limo? I guess that'll fall on me. OK. OK, as you know, I can grant you three wishes, OK? Choose your wishes wisely and then tell me. Thank you so much, Jane. Thank you very much. I feel as though I've delivered a death blow. <laughs> Their focus now has to be the wedding or they will have no wedding. What am I going to do? When am I going to do this? I already have enough trouble doing the stuff that I needed to do. <sighs> Today, with only nine days until the wedding, Simone has put aside the massive list of things to do and is wondering if blondes do have more fun. Roger likes me blonde. Hmm, huh, let's see about that. Oh, Roger! Blonde? Too white. It just looks ridiculous, and there's no way I. Well, you said that. No, 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 no. Seriously, that, that, no. But I want to make a change for the wedding. That's fine. You want to do a change? This is too much. I don't get what's wrong with it. It really got me upset. No, 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 no. Change it back. That or the wedding's off. It seems like Roger's passive attitude is becoming more and more passe. Pardon? I'm being honest. You always say for me to be honest, I'd be honest. No, that, no. You wouldn't be with me if my hair was this color. So what happens if I got some genetic dis disorder okay, okay. in which my That's hair went white? The fact of the matter that she did this really bugged me. And I think even without asking her, I'm not even going to talk to Simone about it. I think I'm just going to call Jane. It was white. Like, imagine liquid paper. So she's thinking she wants to do this platinum blonde. I like that idea. No. Then Roger's got some splaining to do because um, Simone yeah. soon reminds him who wears the pantalones in this casa. I had to. So what did you wish for? For your hair to be done. My hair to be done? You just told me you didn't like it. What else don't I know? That is Roger guilty face. Now, come on. I've, what did you do? I've also asked her to help you out with your teeth. What's wrong with my teeth? I have a little bit of an addiction to Diet Cola. And it apparently has turned my teeth a little bit brown. Can't believe you used one of the wishes without talking to me. Because you know what? We did have other stuff. I... And you just jumped because you got angry. I... You jumped and you called. And you didn't think it through. You didn't talk to me. Man, are you in trouble? Yeah. After Simone shortened the leash on her little alpha male, she has another very important task to tackle. Make jewelry for the bridesmaids. And Simone's little flower girl, Isabel, is supposedly tangling everything up. Sleep more so I can make the necklaces go back to sleep. And I can't ignore her when she's getting distressed. Yes. Little more of that rattle in the face and she'll show you distress. But Daddy's home soon to witness the, uh, chaos. You know what, it's just, it's proving to be harder than I expected. Like, I'd rather not have a wedding if it's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> I really need Jane's help. I mean, I don't wanna have to, like, be medicated at my own wedding. <laughs> so Roger calls Dr. Feelgood herself. And then Isabel cries on demand for dramatic effect. Hi, Jane. Hello, Roger. Simone's having a hard time trying to do the necklaces for the bridesmaids. And we're going to need your help on this one. This jewelry? You're saying make the jewelry? There's about several chains, apparently. I don't know. Uh, there's five necklaces, five bracelets, five pairs of earrings, and each necklace has nine strands to it. That's a good wish. 
Goodness so. me. Well, I'll have to come over and come and collect everything so that I can get started on this. They want you to make jewelry? Mm -hmm. What kind? From what I can understand, it's lots and lots of fine strands with lots and lots of crystals. It'll look like a chandelier then. If I make it, it'll be very tasteful. And if I make it, it'll look like a chandelier. <laughs> so two wishes gone and only seven days to go. And today, Simone leads her charge to confirm some language deets with the DJ. Okay, guys. Well, uh, as I'm sure you're very aware, the reason uh, we're gathered here is uh, to go over the specific. Okay, thanks. Yeah, that's great. But Mama wants to get down to business. Corey, do you speak Spanish? Uh, unfortunately, no. Oh, okay. Because when, when we spoke we to Gabriel, I think it was, it was Gabriel that we talked to. Yeah, they said well, there was go. many. Half the people there is uh, Spanish background. They speak Spanish, and it's good that. Uh, they understand what's going on. And some don't speak English. I can go speak to our DJ manager about this right now. Actually, could you go get him and bring him in here? I'd like to talk to him. We had to, uh... We had to really put our foot down. Sure, Roger. You put your foot down. And you were okay with Gabe doing the wedding? Like, and because he doesn't speak Spanish. Come again, por favor? He doesn't speak Spanish. He speaks, like, he's Italian. Okay, now... He told us he speaks he Spanish. He told us, yeah. even if he was tiny, he said he could speak Spanish. Hmm, that's swell. So the next day, Susie Control Freak takes her frustration out on a helpless little bead, even though Jane's on her way. Why are you continuing with the jewelry when you already asked for the wish? And I open the box, and there's, it's all done. I thought that I was going to get a box of crystals, a box of strands. I'm very confused. It's just the hard part that's left. Yeah? OK. All I've got to do is make up one necklace. Bit of a wasted wish. Today, since Simone's grey smile and white hair scared her groom silly, Jane is sinking her teeth into the couple's, or rather, Roger's first wish. He would like Simone to have whiter teeth and blonder hair. You know, a bit like childbirth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something beautiful at the end of it. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. While Simone grins and bears it, Roger's dealing with his own rack of problems. Mama Sita's dress options for the wedding. Your chi are showing again. Come up like this. No, That's no, no, not to reveal But mom, you can see this. Uh, I just hope she covers them up for the wedding. Just cross her fingers. And she. Did that. Yeah. Okay, I can try to fix it a little bit and here. The dress looks a little. You want to take? If I wear a shawl or something, you think you might be able to help? A tattoo? I feel young and sexy, and I like it. You better like this. <laughs> Back at the dentist's office, Jane deserves a plaque for this one, but the metamorphosis isn't quite complete. Now, Simone is looking for blonde highlights, not okay. all over blonde. Okay. Hints of blonde. You know your stuff. I'm following your guide. Well, that's a different look. How are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah. Lots of work. She's got a lot of hair. So as Simone gets foiled again, Jane and Roger split hairs. So where did Simone get this notion that you love these platinum blondes? I like blondes, not platinum blondes. Oh, right. I like the nice strawberry blonde, you know, yellow blonde. Your blonde is good too. <laughs> Fishing for compliments there. There you go. It's a beautiful blonde. I like it. I like it. Well, See, we that I'm okay with. But the color of that wig, platinum wig, no way. It wasn't magic bringing Simone to the hair salon. It was trying to convince Simone to be Simone the bride, not Simone the rock star. Three, two, one. Yeah? Wow. It looks so good. It looks amazing. And I go, you know what? You look beautiful in just the way I met you the first time. Wish granted. Wish granted. <laughs> So our newly blonde-ish bride can grin her way through the next day at the rehearsal dinner, but her smile is waning.
It has been very separated. Hmm, don't see that at all. And if we can't put it together, that would really, the whole wedding would just be a disaster. Luckily, the couple has kept one wish in their back pocket. And poor Jane wishes she wasn't knocked out by a cold. <coughs> Even through her viral haze, she gets Michael pumped and ready for action. Jane has a wish that she wanted to grant, and she wanted everyone here just to sort of like mix and mingle and have fun. So what we've arranged is for you guys to have a salsa lesson and a dance lesson, okay? Now, are we having fun yet? It started off with both families divided. My family on one side of the room, and Roger's on the other, My like side, usual. Yeah, like usual. We have these two fabulous dancers from Soul to Soul. We have Glenn and Jocelyn. Quick, the quick, dancers got quick, us dancing and focusing on how to do certain steps and then paired us up with somebody we have never danced with. And it was funny because it was like your family paired up with somebody from, from my your family. family. Even though Jane couldn't be here, she pulled together something that worked so well. Just before everyone leaves, it's been a great day. Everyone get right in. And Jane's temperature is also rising, but it ain't dance fever. How are you feeling? You don't sound that good. I feel like death. Thanks for asking. Now tell me, did they dance? It was over the top. It was really good. <laughs> Everything's fine and dandy now, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the day. You just never know. Simone and Roger had mucho problemas with their wedding. That or the wedding's off. But Jane Day is Hinch, wedding planning diva, has been working hard to make their fiesta fabulous. For wish one, Jane diffused a blonde bombshell. Oh my gosh. Wish two had Jane twiddling her thumbs and a bead or two. And from her sick bed, Jane threw Michael into a hot salsa mix for wish three. Raj. Today is the wedding day, and Michael's got one thing on his mind. <laughs> All right, so we need to get you naked and dressed and fast. But it looks like you may have some time. OK, I'll let it. Yeah. OK, <laughs> While Simone negotiates her 17-layer dress, Michael needs to negotiate with the ring bearer. So you're not going to tell anyone where the rings are? I keep them in my hiding spot at the wedding. You're going to tell them? Yeah. But you're not going to tell Jane? Nope. You just made that decision. You're in charge now. Yeah. Yes. So Michael doesn't get too far. And as for the bride, ugh, don't you hate stairs? Do you know how to tie an ascot? What? Do you know how to tie an ascot? No. Are you sure? When you eat an ascot. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now, too. Hi, boss. It's me. We have a little bit of a problem. I don't know how to tie an ascot. So over the phone, Jane eases Michael's pain in the ascot. Now, so, um, um, you leave it loose, a pin. Okay. Is that good? You're amazing. I tried. You're amazing. I, just I tried. Can't how you Look, it. So let's make sure we all do it to the same. Is it centered? It's sunny. Now, do you want to tuck it in and push it out a little And bit? so the boy ties it all up. That's better. Now we're hot. There. Stunning. Looking at the ceremony site, there were still some last minute things to do. Nice. We need this sweeping. Like a car bumper, just been abandoned. Can I just ask, because we've got a lot of photographs to be taken. Oh, it'll be all uh, swept, swept out. The, the leaf blower will come out just before. Really? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you've put yeah. my mind at rest, because we gone. came up and I thought, ooh, this is looking lovely, really nice. Love the centerpieces. Where's your black socks? We need I don't black have socks. black socks. You want my socks? I'll give you my socks. And my feet are very clean. I just had a pedicure. Of course you did, Michael. There we go. Perfect. Another sock. It's four wishes that you got, all right? This is like a wedding SOSS. S S S S S S S Yeah. Wish granted? Wish granted. How are you? You mean Jane? It's wedding day. She's a trooper. And look at all the necklaces all sparkling away there. Wish to check. But Senor Houston, we have a problem. Okay. 
They're at your house. No, no, no. They, yeah. they brought them in the limo. Oh, okay. So no, where are they? they? Okay, you know what? I'm going down. No, you know. no, okay. no. Look at this. I am shaky. Because there isn't enough time to get back to the house to go and get the bouquets. Tell me that they're here, please. So at the moment, the girls' bouquets are nowhere to be seen. But Roger's mom has brought her girls to the party, and they're dressed to impress. And just before Simone's pretty highlighted head spins off her shoulders, Detective Jane finds the missing flowers, and the gang's all here. To be your wife. To be your wife. To be your husband. To be your husband. Your best friend. Your best friend. After the deed is done, Jane tracks down the hopefully multilingual MC. You the MC? Oh, yeah, I'm nice Jane. One thing I do before every wedding is check with the MC to make sure that they line everybody up. You know what music is coming. You're directing people where to go. What oh, wording do you use? What word do we use? Yeah. I, mean, I gotta pick up on the vibe there. You can't just wing being an MC and go with the vibe of the room. Excuse me. I gotta say some words in Spanish in between, too. Okay, so, give me the English. Well, you'll hear it when I do it. Uh, como se dice imploding cake in Espanol? Cake notwithstanding, Simone and Roger are here to celebrate. The smile hit me first, and it was the most radiant smile. We think that Jane's health and the wishes made our wedding day the dream that we hoped it would be. It did become the fairy tale come true. Yeah. Thanks to Jane. But Jane still has one more job to complete. Is everybody ready? Now, who's been practicing since last night? Nobody. 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 This should be fun. Well, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, this is the joining together of the clans. So I invite you all to grab a new partner and we're going to do a family salsa. And with that, Jane dances her way through completing wish three. The highlight for me so far has been the dancing when we, when Jane got us all on the dance floor and we all started dancing salsa. It was like all the stress just went bye-bye. This is the start of their new family life. This is the joining of the clans. They are one family. They were all up dancing. White, Spanish, didn't matter. It was matter. a whole mix. Everybody. Like everybody was not a single person was sitting down. This is the best Spanish I can do. Ha sido un maravilloso día. Y les deseo a Simone y Roger una hermosa vida juntos. Give it to me. Okay. I have a very soft spot for Spanish then. Yeah, 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 yeah! Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Tell me what so happened. we're standing there Same. watching all the bright couples coming in, and we're going, oh, this is nice. <laughs> yeah. And then the music hit. Yeah. You looked at me, yeah. I looked at you, and, and the two of us dead. started to cry. And it was like one of those moments where we like, oh, oh. And, and we, we were, were really, really crying. crying. <laughs> but not about the wedding. 